Oh, you read that title right. I am definitely going there. Honestly, it shouldn't be a big surprise. I mentioned it at the end of the last video. And I think it's safe to say at this point, people know I'm a Starlight fan. And despite some of the hiccups that occurred last season, I firmly believe that adding her to the cast is a good thing. Why? Here's why. Ow. Every pony, welcome back to Pony Talk. Well, like I said in the opening, yes, I do believe that adding Starlight to the cast was a good thing. And I can already hear the keyboards clacking away to tell me how wrong I am, but wait, let me make my case. Now, obviously, Starlight hasn't had the smoothest introduction into the cast, and yes, as I said before, her reformation was a bit rushed. But at this point, I think we just need to accept that's kind of how the show does things. Though, I can see how that did create some hesitation in accepting her, and of course, all the comparisons going on with Sunset. And of course, the fear that always comes along from a new character being introduced. Or at least being put into the main cast. Cousin Oliver, Scrappy-Doo, Poochie. Nobody liked Poochie. If you know someone who says they like Poochie, you might want to step away from them because their pants are about to catch fire because they're obviously a liar. But that was the point of Poochie, to show how executive meddling can go wrong. And because of those precedents, it is easy to have a knee-jerk reaction when a new character is brought into the cast, especially, again, with the murky way they did it with Starlight. But here's the thing. Those characters were brought in just to increase ratings, to further the show even more. They didn't really have anything to do. They didn't have any particular stories to tell. But Starlight, Starlight does have a story to tell. Learning about friendship. And yeah, you could say we've done this before with Twilight and then Sunset, but everyone learns things differently, especially when they do have a different character from the other two. Actually, now that I think about it, Starlight is this weird mix of Twilight and Sunset, but nah, that's beside the point. The point is, her being there adds a new element to the show, and that's a good thing. I just mentioned Poochie, well, let's go back to the show that spawned him, The Simpsons. We all know The Simpsons, they've been around for almost 30 years, and that's nuts! There are people alive today who don't know a world without The Simpsons. I do, because I'm old, but because of that, I remember when The Simpsons was really, really good. Today, it's just not. You know it, I know it, your grand knows it. The Simpsons has become a shell of its former self. And part of that is because, well, the name. It's The Simpsons. It's only focusing on The Simpsons. And sure, we've gotten some stories featuring the side characters, and those are really good. But at the end of the day, it's always going to go back to The Simpsons. And unfortunately, after almost 30 years, there's really only so many stories you can tell with the same five characters. You are eventually going to repeat yourself, which they have. You're also going to make your characters look stupid by having to learn the same lessons over and over again. Now, granted, Friendship is Magic isn't nearly that old, but I think we are starting to see some similarities. After all, one of the biggest complaints about 28 Pranks Later is that it's essentially a redo of Mysterious Meriduel, or Applejack's Day Off being the lesson she already learned in Applebuck season. Although I have thoughts on that one I may come back to later. And of course, one of my big complaints, Rarity essentially learning the exact same lesson in the same season. So yeah, focusing on the main six is great, I love the characters, but let's face it, there's really only so much you can do with them. But, putting Starlight in adds a whole new ingredient to the mixture. If nothing else, it adds a new personality for the others to play off of. I mean, we've already seen how Starlight works well with Twilight and Spike, and heck, even Trixie. And we've gotten snippets of how she interacts with the rest of the main six, or main seven now, but let's go all out with that. Let's have stories of Rainbow Dash introducing her to the Wonder Bolt. Let's have her help Fluttershy take care of her animals. Let's have her spend an entire day with Pinkie Pie and try not to go insane. Heck, if you want a real game changer, let's have her be called by the map. 
Because that itself would open up so many questions. Is she a new element of Harmony? Do the elements of Harmony still exist since they gave them up for the map? Does the map just call whoever Pony needs to be in this situation? And that's not even getting into what the episode could be about. Maybe the map could send her and Applejack together on a mission. That way we'd have the most magical character with the least magical character, and that itself could lead into the conflict. Heck, Applejack could even bring up this moment again. Yeah, you did something! Whoa! What's happening? I feel really weird. I'm talking so much, and I'm so articulate, enunciating with such precise pronunciation. Annie Apple awoke and accidentally ate an auburn azalea. Ah! Make it stop! Which again would enforce on Starlight you can't just magic all your problems away. And that's just one combination out of all of them. So many other things could be possible now that we have a new unknown element. If nothing else, Starlight's inclusion shows that once again the crew behind Friendship is Magic isn't afraid to shake things up. And yes, change can be scary and it can be infuriating, but at the very least, it keeps the show from getting stale. And that is always a good thing. I mean, liker or hater, you have to admit some of the most interesting episodes of Season 6 were the Starlight-focused ones. One way or another, they got people talking. That gets people watching, that gets people buying the merchandise, and that means the show gets to go on. I'm not saying you have to like Starlight, but I'm saying her inclusion isn't the end of the show. In fact, it's the total opposite of that. She provides something interesting to help the show go on for, well, at least two more years, but hopefully many more years to come. And all of that is why adding Starlight was a good thing. And since I'm talking about divisive characters, join me again when I talk about that lovable loser, Flash Sentry. And until next time, remember, after I wash my clothes, I hang them to be tried, and you've just been wide. Wait, that's terrible. I quit. Yeah, I guess if Simon Miller can't do it, I shouldn't try it either. friends with some pony who doesn't talk uh. and I guess my first instinct shouldn't be to magically command ponies to act the way I want them to uh. all right I'll change it back <laughs>